Hey, all right, so we are at 1 Samuel 23, and we're going to read verse 24 through 29, the end of chapter 23, and then we'll comment on it. So they arose and went to Ziph before Saul, but David and his men were in the wilderness of Maon in the plain on the south of Jeshimon. When Saul and his men went to seek him, they told David. Therefore he went down to the rock and stayed in the wilderness of Maon. And when Saul heard that, he pursued David in the wilderness of Maon. Then Saul went on one side of the mountain, and David and his men on the other side of the mountain. So David made haste to get away from Saul, for Saul and his men were encircling David and his men to take them. But a messenger came to Saul, saying, Hurry and come, for the Philistines have invaded the land. Therefore Saul returned from pursuing David and went against the Philistines, so they called the place the Rock of Escape. Then David went up from there and dwelt in the strongholds at En Gedi. So here's the picture. Here comes Saul. He was betrayed by the uh, David was betrayed by the Ziphites. Uh, they tell Saul he's here. Saul gathers up his forces and comes. And they're so close. They're so close that they're on the same mountain. And Saul's forces are trying to get out there and encircle David. David's David's in a very very difficult spot. And then we have suddenly verse 27. Oh, guess what? The Philistines have just invaded. So everything comes to a grinding halt. Saul withdraws his forces and goes now to fight the Philistines. Very, you know, curious how that happened. Just a coincidence, I guess, right? Or maybe so much more. God providentially worked it out so that Saul would have to go and fight the Philistines when he almost seemed to have David cornered there. Very, very uh, insightful. God's providential guidance intervened to save a man who was a just man. And his providential guidance intervened to frustrate the the intention of a man who was an evil man. Now, God doesn't always intervene in that way for us, but in this case, he did. And I'm encouraged by that. I want to remember that God can bring suddenly the Philistines. The Philistines are attacking. We have to stop and do this. I'm glad he can do that and sort of bring to nothing human decisions and plans. But at the same time, uh, I, I want to be careful that I'm always seeking to be in God's will and knowing that sometimes misguided men or even evil men will come after me. But God can help me be a man of faith, a person of faith, and to know what to do. Sometimes he'll save me and sometimes uh, I'll fall into the hands perhaps of a wrong person. And as long as I'm in God's hand, first of all, we'll face whatever comes, right? And we'll do it with with a wonderful appreciation for God's guidance. Suffering for Jesus, we're not doing very much of that. So maybe there's some of that in store for us in the days ahead. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you that you delivered David here in this particular case. Providentially, you delivered him. Very Seems very clear that you did. What about us, Lord? Sometimes you'll deliver us providentially, and other times it'll be better for your purposes for us to be captured. So we just want to trust you in all these things and be your wise servants. And this time David was trying to actively get away. And in the end, he did because of your intervention. Help us to know how, how to be guided in the situations we find ourselves and will find ourselves in in the days ahead. Thank you for hearing our prayer. Help us to be more like Jesus, we ask. And in Jesus' name, we pray it. Amen. So God be with you today, wherever you are knowing that God is providence, is there to help and guide. Uh, but first of all, we want to be in his hand. And the Lord will see to all the rest. God be with you.